Hi, it's Joe, and welcome to The Quilt Report. I'm sitting here in my kitchen right now, but last week I was in my studio on May 11th when my great friend Alex Anderson, uh, hand quilter extraordinaire, came into the studio to uh, quilt for a couple hours with me. We had a ball. Uh, just sitting around a quilt frame with somebody else, it's so relaxing and fun and conversational. I made video and I thought I'd uh, share just a few minutes of it here with you, just to see what it's like to have a couple old friends sitting around a frame quilting. Here's what it's like. We have more than one thing to do. So uh, I'm gonna do a leaf with this. Okay, so. All right, it's just two curved lines. Am I allowed to not mine or will it spoil it? You can do whatever you want, uh, if, since you can't quilt in both directions. Yes, I can. Well, then why use a knot? Because I have to thread my needle twice then, right? Well, no, 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 here, okay, here. No, 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 don't, okay. don't, 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 don't use a knot. Oh, you're using a knot. Oh my God, I've made a knot. Okay, no, I'm, I did it. Okay, okay, let me see. Okay, uh, see, I'm, since I can quilt in both directions, I'm just gonna go around here and then uh, I'm gonna have the rest of my thread to... Um, uh, oh, you use both sides of your thimble. I do. Okay. I learned that from old Amish ladies. Okay, I just have two thimbles. Yeah. But don't worry, so, don't worry about my little tail. I won't worry about you. You leave your tail, <laughs> see, you got your tail sticking out. Okay. This, that's the right way to have it. Okay, so see, this is what you do, Joe Cunningham. And when uh -huh. you want to quilt away, you put it on your thumb. Uh-huh. And then you quilt away. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, that's... One way. Right, well, that's if you don't know any better. <laughs> Um, so, so, uh, so I just use a sim, a single thimble, okay. but, but, so, but you, now you have one on your thumb and then where's your other one? My pointer finger. Oh, so instead of, I'm in the wrong direction here. Hold on. Okay. So instead of, um, uh, threading the needle twice, you have to, uh, change thimbles, change thimbles. Yeah. But you, you know what? It's with a blink of an eye. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> uh, this way, I don't have to change anything. Okay. All right. So this is really different fabric we're on right now. Yes, it's wool. It's it's antique Japanese ikat, and you know <gasps> what what ikat means is that they dye the threads before they weave it, mm -hmm. and so that's how you get this blurry edge. There is. Okay. The, don't blink. Okay. Yeah, I just blinked. Oh, too late. <laughs> too late. <laughs> Okay, so now, see, I just came back here, and now I'm, I'm just going to go uh, and make this vine. Uh, I'm going to head up towards... To this guy here? This vine. Okay. See, now this is, I have never not marked. Yeah. Never. So what got you, because you got your Mr. Longarm over there, what yeah. made you think, i got to get back on the frame? Well, uh, this fabric is kind of washed out. You know what I mean? These mm -hmm. are not, and I, I like bold colors, especially mm -hmm. because you do? My, I do. <laughs> my eyesight is is weakening because of my cataracts that I have uh -huh. to get fixed. So I, for, I, that I like bold contrast, and this is a little bit washed out fabric, and I made it the whole centerpiece of this uh, quilt top. Okay, you're gonna pick out my crappy stitches. No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, oh, well, see, they're too tiny. They're too no, little. I'm, I, no, it's I. We got to make bigger, bigger stitches, stitches to be okay. with. The, the times. The modern era, yeah. The times. Okay, so now I'm down here, and I got two ends. Okay, well, just go someplace else and do something different. Put another leaf up right straight up okay, there. Okay, well, what are you going to do with this thing down here, this hanger? Oh, uh, uh, we'll use it. We'll okay, use it. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. So I can just do a stem? Uh, yeah, you could do a stem. Do you ever travel underneath? I do. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, yeah. I like that. You travel underneath, and you... you come up, you swing it around. That's it. I taught you how to do that. Yes, you did. When, uh -huh. when I was in my mother's womb. <laughs> <laughs>